Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. And uh, welcome to another edition of our Instagram live uh, session. My name, like I always say, has not changed. My name remains Azu Arinze. And my guest this evening is Mr. Charles Chukwemeka Uputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy. Charlie Boy is unarguably one of Nigeria's most controversial uh, entertainers. According to Wikipedia, he was born on June 19, 1950, and that makes him 71 years old. He is a native of Oguta in Imo State. Of course, he is a songwriter, singer, television presenter, publisher, and producer. He's popularly called the area father. So he will also be telling us why they call him the area father, why he calls himself the area father. Of course, he's the son of the venerated and celebrated the uh, late Justice Chuku Defu Akune Oputa and the late Mrs. Margaret Oputa. He is married to the love of his life, Diane Oputa, and they are blessed with children and grandchildren. The former president of uh, PMAN will also and always be remembered for two things, the Charlie Boy Show and the uh, Zoom time. So tonight we'll be looking at that and uh, other issues. Please remember to follow us on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is uh, the Yes NG TV. T H E Y E N G TV. Thank you very much. So, what has been happening to CB? Everything good. You know, Everything when you start to age, don't see as I fresh like morning. <laughs> when you start to age and you're aging gracefully, so many things don't mean shit jack to you anymore. Okay? You start to get so picky and so choosy about the people you hang with, even the people where they call you for phone, what you eat, what you want to look at. You start to get very picky. Like I tell people, I'm on a diet. And this diet is not just about what I put in my mouth. It's about what I choose to listen to, what I choose to look at, the people I, I allow in my space. Because you know, say, winchful Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> and there are many winches. So <laughs> I stay away from anything I consider negative. You know? So what have I been doing with myself? I'm retired now. You should know that. So I'm on a cruising level. <laughs> I'm on a cruising level. All I want to do for the rest of my life, keep being my authentic self, keep talking about the problems back home, and do as many travels. You know, there are a lot of places in the world I've not been to. I want I want to visit as much as I can before before I finally bow. Yes. Hmm. 
So that's what I'm doing with my damn self. Oh my god. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Now you celebrated the, your birthday, you know, weeks back at uh, 71. What is going to change about CV? I didn't celebrate 71. Please get this right. What did you I celebrate? I celebrated the first anniversary of my 70th birthday. <laughs> I didn't celebrate 71. I'm All right. <laughs> you know, they, go, they look Google. So. Okay, so what, what is going to change about CB now that he has celebrated the first anniversary of his uh, 70th birthday? And like I said, I'm on a cruising level. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm taking it easy with my life. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I, you know, I don't send anybody right from time. So, as I did so, ah, no, 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 no. This is the best time of my life ever, if I say so myself. I'm hoping that along the way that I'll meet a lot of young people who who are just exceptional, who are outstanding, you know, not only to learn from them, but to also equip them so they can also uh, dream their dreams and, uh, you know, make a success out of their life. So this, that's just what I want to do with myself now. Interesting. Interesting. So when will a child boy quit being a child boy and become a child man? Would that ever happen? No. No. That is why I'm ageless. Why do you want me to start? <laughs> Charlie boy, it's a Charlie man. Take a take a take. All right. Will Charlie boy ever do away with the pins, the big rings, and you know those weird things, the bandana and everything. Yeah, I can see you're not wearing any one today. But the bandana and everything, will you will there ever be a time that you do away with all those things? Why? Is it disturbing you? <laughs> not disturbing, it's not disturbing me now. But I have toned down a little bit. I mean, there's no one here again. There's no one. I used to have so many rings on my blockers. I know I don't remove all of them, you know. Because they didn't know they allow me to operate well, you know. <laughs> but you still have one. Okay, I can see the one you have in your songs. All right. <laughs> Okay, now I, I need you to refresh, you know, our memories a little bit. How did this whole Charlie Boy drama or persona, how did it all begin? What prompted it? What triggered it? Uh, you know, when I was little, my rebellion streak started way back. You know, I started challenging even the status quo in my house. I started challenging my father. And it's my father that brought me up to challenge anything and everything that, that I'm curious about. So I wonder why he was upset with me. Now he been the teach me, now he been the upset. He was the judge, the jury, the everything. Uh -huh. um, so that's how my rebellious streak started. But one thing I didn't like when I was growing up, everybody was introducing me. Eh, this you even talk I'm here, self. It was I didn't hear you are for what's you so because everybody was introducing me as this person's son, as if I had no identity of my own. And I used to as I used to hate it. I used to hate my father for that. So I believe that. I was living under this big image that, and that is the very reason why that I didn't go to study law. Because if mm. I go study law now, then go say, hey, hey, now the man they push her, now the man they do this. Hey. Men then come talk say, now the man they give me go to smoke now. <laughs> or now the man carry and go for the house now. You understand? So I had to come up I had to come up with something totally different from even what the Oputas are known for. Uh -huh. Because the regular Oputas, after they finish university, they go and find their work and they work and grow in the work. 
I said, I was the first to put, I think, that said, no, I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing nine to five. Because me, I personally know that I don't have that kind of discipline. I wanted to come and go as I like. But most importantly, I wanted to carve a niche for myself. I was that hungry that I boned everybody. So when my father called me one morning and said, we were in a worry that time. So he called me and said, okay, carry this letter, go to Potako, give to Mr. Sosa and so, and start work. I looked the man finish. I said, I never had that discussion with you to work anywhere. So he looked at me curious and said, what do you want to do if you're not going to go and start work? I said, I want to be my own person. He said, meaning what? I said, I want to be a musician. Hey. <laughs> I saw my father. My father nearly fainted. I felt so sorry for him, but it was time for me to be my own man and say, take your certificate. Because personally, if they say they leave me, I no go go school. After all, Buhari no go school. <laughs> You see, they find in the standard, standard six certificate. You understand? <laughs> Many people where they see, they don't go to school. But going to school is a good thing. So I'm not, you know, and I thank God, say, he make me, force me to go to that school where I no one go. So I now say this is the time to separate myself from my parents. That's how I went from America. I come back from Yankee, come enter village. I stayed in that village for eight years. This was where I started the brand popularly known as Charlie Boy. It was a no bit, you know, with the way for don't die for that village. So, what is it that we do? No, he rescued me from the village. Now, he can't carry me for the village, come out that village. Otherwise, I don't die. And I stay eh, until I can make it in life. You see, that man? <coughs> I won't talk to him. So I disowned my parents. Pata pata, I disowned them. Because all the time that I was in Nubuta, I had very little contact. The only thing he did for me, and, you know, I can't stop feeling like this, my father turned to be my hero. Because he called me one day, after I've stayed like about three, four years, he called me one day and said, uh, it's not that he doesn't like what I'm doing, you know, but I said, yeah, 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 I beg, how can I help you? He said, uh, I want to know if you need anything. So I know as my head just calculate, pop, 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 pop. I said, yes, it was a money, because I swear, say, one Cuba no go ask this man until I succeed my own self. So I tell and say, okay, the only thing you can do for me is to bring one guy from Lagos. That time he was already in Lagos. He said, which person? I say, Majek Fashek. Before I won't talk again, I don't give him the address. Give him. I say, send your orderly to go and fetch him and bring him and come to Guta. And lo and behold, that's what he did. And that was my first meeting with Majek Fashek. He started that send down the rain in my studio. Wow, wow, yeah. this is a totally um, new angle. I'm hearing this for the first time. So, what was it like? Yeah, it's been a day that my Biako started with me. You know, wow. people went to my football university, and I know it today now, so you don't take, <laughs> but now only when I they sleep for coffee, now you know they like. <laughs> <laughs> Now, true, so, now. <laughs> when Majek came, what was he doing? What was he doing? What kind of person was he, you know, as at that time? Majek came, he was like a studio boy. He was like the engineer. Because mm. he knew more about music than me now. Me, I was only... Music has always been my hobby. I'm not a musician, per se. But today, as I see some people, I say, why not? I better pass some people, you know? And many better passed me. But um, Majek was a studio boy at the time. And he was using the studio to create his own. That was where Send Down the Rain. He started to write Send Down the Rain. 
you know. Wow. I used to look wow. at the boy, you know, when we were together in Uguta in those days. I go look at myself. say, oh, I say, God, I don't know sin, so he take hate me. Speak up, mm. I'm born. Ugly <laughs> duckling. If you can't see my Jack skin that time, oh my God. When I look my Jack up and down, I go, they want to put a spirit. Then when I look myself, I go, say, no wonder my papa don't like me. <laughs> oh, interesting. Gosh, uh, interesting. Now, so how did you now feel when Majek eventually became so big? How I go feel now, I was happy now that that all that greatness started from one small, tiny place in Uguta. And if he was able to write his history, I would be part of it. Hmm. You know? Interesting. Interesting. So what strategies did you deploy, you know, to have been able to sustain the Charlie Boy brand this far? Well, if you build a youthful brand, it must stay that way. You would mm. have to say, when Charlie Boy go become Charlie Man. <laughs> like I say, don't crease. <laughs> I, I go become Charlie Man again, make it begin the old. So, but oh. if, if you see all the people, my constituency is that of young people now. The people where they follow, I know if you follow people like you again, because you don't. <laughs> the people where they follow are between 21 and <laughs> years old. People I can learn from. People that can tell me what's in and what's out. In. Mm. So I can't go out of fashion because I'm looking at these people, I'm learning from them, I'm hobnobbing with them. So Ah, no go no and i'm not one listen if a five-year-old somebody with them just born yesterday they have a superior superior idea about something that i'm interested in i go take the idea or join the one way i get i don't discriminate oh <coughs> no i can't i can't roll with you because you're too small i know they do like that at all i'm, I'm I'm always going, trying to suck knowledge from young people. So, for me, I will always be friends. Because there's a lot of people I look at that I'm learning from. Okay? Interesting. Interesting. Now, CB, who gave you the greatest support when you started? First, it was Iwanyam. Emmanuel Iwanyam? Yes. Then okay. it was Tina Owindi way. Okay. You know that you know that my house for Bagada? Yes. Uh -huh, where that was now Tina paid the first rent too. Hey, uh, she paid two years rent. Wow. I don't think interesting. I forget that woman. That woman. Ah small Tina could not marry a moon. <laughs> <laughs> When I know say to say my for kill ourselves. <laughs> oh God. Now, do you think you would have been able to come this far without the Charlie Boy persona? No. To tell you the truth, no. Because it's only by crazy, by being totally mad. Because if to say I know mad as I'm mad, do not go forget me. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I had to be book wild. I had to say for right. everybody. Okay. All right. Now, why does the Charlie Boy like uh, drama and uh, controversy? Or controversies, not just controversy. I don't go looking for them. I don't. Maybe it's the way I put out. I don't send anybody any message. <laughs> Whether you like me, hate me, or that one are for your pocket. But no, maybe not because I just no send anybody. So everybody goes, ah, did he do that? Did he say that? Yes, I did it. I said it. <laughs> Wrong police. Ah, I don't go looking for these things. They just keep happening around me. So it's not my fault now. Okay. 
Your, your, your children, do they complain about your weird and uh, eccentric lifestyle? Or they have become so used to it that... Uh, These are no longer children. No. These are grown men with, uh, <laughs> with children and grandchildren. So what are you talking, children? We don't pass that level about like 15, 20 years ago. So <laughs> at that time, you don't tell now, so you don't tell. You know, I get people with senior you finish. I don't go to school. I don't know. So you can imagine. I don't uh, God. children again. They are no longer children. No. As you listen, let me tell you something. Whether people want to admit it or not, I'm a special edition. I'm a classic. I come once in a century. If you check my rich heritage, if you check my pedigree, because lion no fit born good. You they hear me so? Nobody say we they do music, they everybody they rub shoulder. Or I say I won't be street guy. You know they do make everybody, everybody know their level. Okay, <laughs> my level they too high. Nobody right from it right from time immemorial. I just say I be humble person. I just they feel they talk to when I'm a truck pusher, I go talk to them. I know care, I know set. Because I'm comfortable knowing who I am. And at that confidence, they push me. We're not in to shake me. You know? So let's not get it twisted. Because all this drama, now for Mumu people, because if I don't do it like that, Mumu people go forget me. And I don't want, I don't want to be forgotten. So anytime they feel like, say, I don't no fit to remember who be Godfather. I go give on a one poza. I go begin talk about that one for another six months. I go find something to give on again to talk about. Oh God, see, you're all right. 